Welcome everyone. In this video I discuss a tool called Audacity. Audacity is a free audio editing software and in this video you will learn how to record some narration, import some music, reduce the volume of that music, and then export that as an mp3. To get started you need to make sure you downloaded Audacity. You need to make sure that you download the lame encoder because without the lame encoder you cannot export your file as an mp3. Once you have all that complete, you're ready to open Audacity and then you can be begin recording. So by now you should have the narration that you're going to record and you can press this red button that says record and once you press that button start reading your narration. Now you may want to practice this a few times to get make sure your voice sounds the way you want it to sound and once you're ready then you can go ahead and record it until it's until you get to the end of your story. When you get to the end of your story select stop. At this point you can import your music and now you need to go to file import import audio and then you want to select the file from wherever you have it saved. Now here I'm just using Windows sample music. You should find something a little more interesting than this. So I double click on this and it starts to import the file. Once that file is imported, now if you play it, it probably is louder than your voice. So what you want to do is to reduce the volume of the music so that it does not compete with your voice because if it does then your story will not be as effective as it could be. So look to your left of the music track and you'll notice two sliders. There's one slider here and one slider here. We need to click on those and notice that it says gain and the gain is what we're changing to change the volume of that music. So if you drag that slider to the left this will reduce the volume of the music track. Now there's no specific place to put these sliders. This is an exercise in trial and error so you'll have to move it to the left, play it, make sure the music doesn't drown your voice out and when you determine that right balance then you're finished. Otherwise you need to make sure that you just work with the audio until your voice is louder than the music and that the music does not compete with your voice. Once you get that happy balance then you're ready to export your file as an mp3 so that's what we'll do now. To do that you need to go to file. This time we want to go to export. When this window appears notice that save as type is already set to mp3 and if it's not you could click this drop down and then choose mp3. You also need to give this a title so you can name this whatever your story is about. Here I'll just type practice and then I have this set to the desktop just to get to it quickly but you can save this anywhere as long as you know where you put the file. Then choose save and we don't need to worry about filling out any of this stuff. It gives you this message about the tracks being mixed down, select OK and now the process begins of exporting your file. Once that process is complete, you'll notice that you'll have an MP3 file. And you'll know because you'll see this little white piece of paper with the music note. It'll say MP3. And then the file extension will be MP3. And remember that I typed the name practice in for my file. So that's how you record narration, add some music, reduce the volume of the music, and then export the file. And that's all you need to do to get your audio file. Now the next thing you need to do with that is to upload it to Podomatic and you need to watch the next lesson to learn how to make a mini cast which will combine digital images along with this mp3 file to make a digital story.